Thank you for calling Action Fraud, the UK's national fraud and cyber crime reporting centre. If you are in danger or witnessing a crime taking place right now, hang up and dial 999. Action Fraud takes reports on behalf of the police, and every report we receive helps to build a clear picture of fraud and cyber crime. We are aware of current scams relating to HMRC, national insurance, and COVID vaccinations. If you have received a text, email, or phone call and haven't responded to this or paid money, you can report this to us quickly and easily at www.actionfraud.police.uk slash report scam. If you've responded to the message or a call or you are worried and would prefer to speak to us, please stay on the line and we'll connect you to one of our advisors as soon as possible. If you're calling from Scotland, Think the person who defrauded you lives there, or would to tell us about a crime that happened in Scotland, you'll need to hang up and dial 101. They'll put you through to your local police force who can help. If you are a business, charity, or organisation, press 1. If you are calling from a UK police force, press 2. If you believe you or someone you know is a victim of fraud and cybercrime, please press 3. If you want to listen to the message again, please press 8. <phone rings> Sorry, I didn't catch that. If you are a business, charity or organisation, press 1. If you are calling from a UK police force, press 2. If you believe you or someone you know is a victim of fraud and cybercrime, please press 3. If you want to make a new report, please press 1. For an update on an Okay, we'll put you into the queue to make a new report in a moment. Please be advised, Action Fraud does not have investigation powers and we are unable to assist with the recovery of funds. However, the reports taken by Action Fraud are sent to our colleagues at the National Fraud Intelligence Bureau for assessment. We aim to answer your call as quickly as we can. If you would prefer to make a report online, you can do so at www.actionfraud.police.uk by clicking on Report to get started. Your call will be recorded for quality and training purposes. We may also share some relevant details with the appropriate law enforcement agency. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. If possible, Please have to hand any names, dates, phone numbers, or details of where your money has been transferred to. Thanks for your patience. We'll be with you soon. To get the latest updates, information, and advice on how to protect yourself, you can follow us on Facebook slash Action Fraud. Twitter at Action Fraud UK and Instagram at Action Fraud. <phone rings> Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. If you are a victim of fraud or cybercrime, you are not alone. We are here to help you. Every report matters, and your report can help us to protect others. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. Where possible, enable two-factor authentication on your email accounts. It will help to stop hackers from getting into your online accounts, even if they have your password. Thanks for your patience. We'll be with you soon. To stay up to date about the latest scams and get advice and guidance on how to protect yourself, please sign up to our alert service at www.actionfraudalert.co.uk.
so much deeply waiting, we'll be with you as soon as we can. If you have purchased something that costs between 100 to 30,000 pounds on your credit card, you might be able to get your money back under the Consumer Credit Act. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. Your bank or any other official organization will never contact you out of the blue to request your financial details. If you need to check if it is a genuine caller, please call them directly on the organization's official number, which you will find on their official website. Thanks for your patience. We'll be with you soon. Installing the latest software and app updates will help you to improve the security on your devices. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. Don't click any links or download attachments on suspicious emails that ask for personal or financial information. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. If possible, please have to hand any names, dates, phone numbers or details of where your money has been transferred to. Thanks for your patience. We'll be with you soon. To get the latest updates, information and advice on how to protect yourself, you can follow us on Facebook slash Action Fraud, Twitter at Action Fraud UK and Instagram at Action Fraud. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. If you are a victim of fraud or cybercrime, you are not alone. We are here to help you. Every report matters, and your report can help us to protect others. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. Where possible, enable two-factor authentication on your email account. It will help to stop hackers from getting into your online accounts, even if they have your password. Thanks for your patience. We'll be with you soon. To stay up to date about the latest scams and get advice and guidance on how to protect yourself, Please sign up to our alert service at www.actionforwardalert.co.uk. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. If you have purchased something that costs between one hundred to thirty thousand pounds on your credit card, you might be able to get your money back under the Consumer Credit Act. Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. Your bank or any other official organization will never contact you out of the blue to request your financial details. If you need to check if it is a genuine caller, Please call them directly on the organization's official number, which you will find on their official website. Thanks for your patience. We'll be with you soon. Installing the latest software and app updates will help you to improve the security on your devices.
going to keep you waiting. We'll be with you as soon as we can. Don't click any links or download attachments on suspicious emails that ask for personal or financial information. Good afternoon, it's Chris Rachel Strider, but it's calling to the Rachel Soft and the Hospital Police. Thank you for your patience in holding, like speaking to Carla. May I please put your name in your contact number? Yeah, that's fine. Just before I do, do you mind if I just confirm your name? I didn't quite catch that. Yes, absolutely. My name is Carla, so T for Charlie, A for Alpha, R for Romy, L for Lima, A for Alpha. Carla? Yes. Great, okay. Is that short for anything? No, no, that's my first name, <laughs> Carla. Okay, great. Um, I've just spoken to somebody else who I don't believe was genuine, and I'm just in the process of reporting cyber fraud whereby outbound telephone calls get hacked from Android smartphones that I've been using. The last person I spoke to on the mm -hmm. telephone almost certainly wasn't genuine, and they just put the phone down on me. Um, they were using a nickname instead of a full name, which you're not allowed to do at Action Fraud or any police or security enforcement organization. And it's what every fraudster tries to do. And a first name was phonetically indecipherable. So I haven't got off for a, to a very good start today. Still going to presume that you're genuine, although there's a very high probability okay. that, um, that you're not. So before you we go into the call, so if, you could, okay. if I could just ask so you a couple of quick what? questions, that'd be really useful. Just to set my mind at ease, you don't have to answer them if you don't want to. But I just want to verify that I'm speaking to a genuine employee before I, I get into the call. Is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Okay. Um, Carla, do you mind if I take your surname? Uh, I'm not obligated to give my surname exactly because we want to start and I do not feel comfortable providing my surname somewhere I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you were trained in, um, to, to work for action fraud, did they tell you that you were obliged to give your surname to callers who phone in or not? No, nobody told me that. And I'm so sorry, I did not feel comfortable answering like, questions like about my training as well. Um, I'm going to let you ask more questions, okay? But again, I cannot answer like you. So many personal information about my training, about this company, and like questions that you can actually find on our website. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, you don't have to answer the questions, um, but obviously okay. your responses make will either make you sound ridiculously guilty and unintelligent, um, like the, 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 the other people. Let me ask. You, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Our line is a very big line. When you make a call to action fraud, you work on behalf of the police. And you start like Dalvin calling someone and implore you like guilty. You are being offensive because I'm actually working to HPN today. And like I do not appreciate nobody like actually telling me that I sound guilty and unintelligent. No, I wasn't suggesting okay. that you did. I think offensive. I think I think you misunderstood what I was saying. What I was saying is a fraudster typically won't be able to answer the questions and they try and change the subject, split hairs and use pathetic, pithy excuses to try and do everything they can to you avoid... You can try to, avoid... to contact your local police, okay? If you contact the one-on-one and speak to your local police, that should be the safer way for you if you do not feel comfortable no, calling us this way today. Call yeah. the one-on-one and they can transfer that you to us. I'd like okay, to find Action Fraud. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy to speak to Action Fraud. I'd just like to finish asking you those questions and then we can continue the call, okay? Okay. So, can I ask you what your job title is, please, Carla? Oh my God. Cyber Crime and Fraud Advisor. Say that again for me, please. Cyber Crime and Fraud Advisor. Cyber Crime and Fraud Advisor. Okay, wicked. Thanks, Carla. And how long have you worked as a cyber crime and fraud advisor for Action Fraud? Oh my God, what, these questions are so, so much really like me, comfortable. You don't feel comfortable answering that question? No, I'm not. I'm not. You're actually like taking so much time in four minutes and you're actually trying to make me like, I'm basically doing an interview. That's not my job. Okay. I have like the right to protect like my 
my personal life and like my professional life. Yeah, that's fine. But the, the, the problem is, Carla, that criminals also won't give any verification details. Um, so that's yeah, a, a, good way, a good way to verify them. You can't be connected to a criminal, okay? Unfortunately, I mean, like, it's too much unfortunately, our unfortunately, Carla, I have been connected to criminals literally hundreds and hundreds of times. And unfortunately, yes, all, of those, all of those guys are evasive with their details too. Um, do you mind me asking? Let me tell you something that's going to make you feel safer. Uh, okay, yeah. What, what, what would you say to make me feel safer? Okay. Uh, to make you feel safer, like in a relationship, not talking to a criminal, you can try to find out our official website through the police. Okay? If you speak to your police, like through the one, the one on one with the single station number, if you speak to the police and request our official website, you'll be able to talk with one of our agents online. Okay, it's a trained agent, like sometimes they have more experience, they are on the company a longer time, so it might be more, you would feel comfortable asking these questions to an agent online. So I'd rather speak to somebody on the telephone at the moment, because I know who I'm speaking to, but thanks for directing me to your website. I'm on the website at the moment, actually, and I've got a web inquiry, which hopefully you'll be able to answer for me. But I just wanted to finish off okay. with, with the verification questions. It won't take very long. Can you give me the detail of your line manager? If I wanted to make a complaint about your conduct or if I wanted to speak to somebody if you aren't able to answer my inquiry, can you tell me the name of your acting line manager at Action Fraud today, Carla? The first name of my manager is called Faye. I'm sorry? The first name of my manager is Faye. Could you spell that for me? George Alpha ENT Echo. Great, okay. And what's Faye's job title? Pardon? What's Faye's job title? She's my manager. So do you know her official manager? Is she a team leader? Is she a senior fraud investigator? Is she a senior fraud she's advisor? She's team leader. Oh, she's your team leader, Faye? Yes. Okay, brilliant. Do you, do you have a surname for Faye? Again, like I do not comfortable to provide the surname of the another employer. Okay? And you aren't instructed to provide details of either yourself or your colleagues if, if customers. I are am concerned. instructed like to only provide information like a part of the first name when I feel comfortable. And as I told you before, I am not really comfortable in this call. Yeah, that's fine. If you don't want to answer the questions, you don't. You don't have to. You know, um, that's absolutely fine. Well, um, thanks for. Attempting to clear security, I, I'm not going to ask you any more questions today because um, I have got better things to do, and I think it's pretty apparent. Yes, yeah, so do I. Um, so, if we, so, do so I. What, what what information would you like from me? My address, did you say, or no, my so name? The, the way the way like you you were talking, the call. I'm not sure if you're going to feel comfortable, but initially we asked you for your name and um, your contact number in case of like a call is connected. Again, but only if you feel confident you're arriving um, that. Uh, I, yeah, I, uh, I'm happy to provide that information, yeah. It doesn't make any difference. The fraudsters have got all of my information anyway, obviously. Um, yeah, especially if they're intercepting the outbound telephone calls. So I don't think I'm going to be running any risks giving those out today. But yeah, so you'd like my name to, to start with, yeah? Is that correct? Yes, please. Yeah, so my name's mm -hmm. Brody McLeod. Would you like me to spell that for you? Bravo Romeo Oscar. Delta Romeo Romeo. Delta Romeo Romeo. Romeo. So the first name is Bravo Romeo Oscar Delta India Echo. And the second name is Mike Alpha Charlie Lima Echo Oscar Delta. Okay. Contact number please. It's 07 576. Mm -hmm. 713 mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, now let me ask you two specific questions. Does this call have any connection to Scotland? No. And have you ever contacted the Action Fraud before or have you seen yourself on our website? I have contacted Action Fraud in the past, yeah. Okay, but you haven't seen this for yourself? Yes, I'm registered. That's on, correct. Uh, yeah, I'm registered on the website. Yeah. 
stuff like this. So they have to like inside to find your account in a second. So how can I, how can I help you? Just trying to report a series of phone calls, um, which I've mm-hmm. got uh, re- call recordings of to Action Fraud. But on the report page, as a five-stage report, um, the first section is about you. The next section is fraud details. Next section is sub- suspect and payment. Then you've got additional details okay. and then report completion. Mm-hmm. So I'm just wondering okay. where on the site I go to upload files or how I can send ah, okay. files so you to already, digital. So you are actually um, so you are already making the reports online, so you do not want me to do the reports. So that's okay. So in this situation, so when you are making a report, we ask you to provide all the details of the fraud, what you can actually provide in written, okay? And then there is a section that, that says evidence. You're going to click to the little boxes, like for example, a contract, legal document, pictures, taxes, recordings. You click all the options you have. Then after you submit your report, we ask you to wait a minimum of 28 days to someone from the National Fraud Intelligence Bureau getting told to see you. By the way, you, you ask to call us or post or mail you. Okay, then they are going to contact you and request all the evidence you have. Okay? At this point, you cannot really, like, upload the physical evidence in the website. Okay. So, if I wanted to share a file by providing a link, Mm -hmm. which is the best service to use? Uh, You would not be able to do that for that. Okay, you would have to wait, like, be contacted by one of the investigators. They would actually contact you to request all the evidence and files that you have. No, that's not correct. Uh, I used the fraud reporting tool um, last year, and I used Google Drive as a link to provide oh, provide information. That's not bad. And, uh, and the report was accepted. I'm just wondering if that's oh, still if that's that still a, still a good format to use, or whether I should use uh, a different a different file sharing platform. That's yeah, again, like I haven't heard of that. If you want to, I can double check my money. Should be. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be very useful. If okay, could... sorry, I lost, you that. I lost you that for a few seconds. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, that, that, would be, uh, that would be very useful. If you could place the call on hold and go and ask the manager, okay. that would so, be very useful. I'm just going to just ask you, please. I'll be back in less than two minutes. Okay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much for that opening. <clears throat> Sorry. So, yeah, that was double checking to my supervisor, okay? And he said, like, you definitely like, you do not share any files on the website. You just need to click the box that I told you about, and you're going to have to wait. So, we advise you to save in a file, like, all the evidence you have, and wait, like, the period of the you know, 28 days to send the evidence to us. Is that okay? No, it's not not really okay. I don't know if I buy that. Can I speak to your manager, please? Is that all right? I'm not able to change that call. Okay, you have like. Um, yeah, I'm not able because I don't have the sense to change that. However, we have a sense that as well where you can make a complaint and they can actually like you change that. You have a complaint for managers. I need to double check with you. Okay. So you, just to be clear, you don't have the, the ability to transfer me to your manager? No. Have you ever transferred a call to your manager? To transfer have you ever transferred a call through to your manager since you've been working there? Have you done that before? Our manager do not use the same line that we use. We use a different system in our line, okay? Our manager communicates to us like in a different line. Yeah, but what I'm asking you is if, you, example, is if you've ever trans now, transferred someone be through before. So that's not something you've got the facility no, to do. No, because the information that I have is like I cannot transfer a caller to my manager, okay? What I can do is like is put you on hold and put you in kind of advice to my needs, and then my supervisor will tell me the answer that to my needs, okay? Managers, they are not available to talk to callers because most of the times we work at different times. Okay? My manager, for example, right now it's 428. It could be anywhere, she could be in a meeting. So it would be quite hard to find my manager right now. So you need to talk, tell, me, tell me what do you need, so I put you on hold, and I request help for all of the supervisors who are actually available all day to answer questions, okay? So, did you just change your rationale? First of all, you said you weren't able to transfer the call, but now you're saying that, you're, that your manager is too busy. Now, you just you just told me that your manager was I too busy. I cannot, I cannot transfer your call to my manager. I told you that. Yeah, but what you just tried to do is give me a statement saying that no, you weren't well, able to, to and then, so you, then you, because I'm you knew it wasn't have, true, so what sorry. you did is you came I'm back in with another to, bit of justification. This call is so uncomfortable. You actually make me feel so uncomfortable doing this call. Well, it's, it's your so, job. so uncomfortable. Yeah, okay. Well, no, it's your it's job. It's my job to report and try to help people to solve the report, okay? I'm not a police, I'm not an investigator. I'm an agent to investigate the report and advise people when they need advice related to fraud. Okay. I cannot transfer a call. I'm, I do not have the, the power, okay, the autonomy to transfer a call for a caller who wants to make a report to my manager. You sound a little bit like a scouser putting on an accent. Do you mind me, do you mind me asking where it is you're from? 
it kills me. So now you are a little bit xenophobic as well, talking about my accent. No. You live in England, have you seen how many people in different backgrounds live in this country? I'm so sorry. I'm going to terminate the call right now. Please feel free to call us back if you need to speak to another agent. Do you mind me asking? I'm not xenophobic at all. I'm just asking where your accent is from because it just slipped really badly. You sounded, it sounded like you were from Liverpool rather than from an Eastern European country, which is what your accent... I'm not from any of these countries. I'm Brazilian. I'm sorry, say that again. I'm from Brazil. I'm Brazilian. You're from Brazil? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, I went to Guatemala once. It was great fun. So, um, all I was commenting on, because I've been the victim of cybercrime, crime, Carla, just to make you make make it sort of clear for you, so you can understand that this, is, this isn't a personal attack on you. But I've been the victim of cybercrime where people have intercepted outbound telephone calls. And normally, if people give false information in in life, not just on cybercrime telephone calls, one of the things they typically try and do, because they know it's not true, so they don't actually believe what they're saying themselves, is even though they've told something which they're making out as a matter of fact, they'll then try and think of a second excuse, because they're worried that you're not going to believe what's being said. Sometimes when people try and cover up a lie with another lie, what happens is that it exposes the void of continuity in what they're saying. So you just told me that you didn't have the ability to transfer a call to manager. I did which, not. Yeah, which, I, I, which, I, I, which, I would, which I would believe if you hadn't then told me that your manager would be very oh difficult God. to get hold That's of at this so time. Offensive. Put, put yourself in my place. I understand you are a victim, and I'm so sorry you've been through to all of me. Like, I'm, normally I'm very supportive, and I try to do my best to help. But put yourself in my place, okay? I work in this company for one year and a half. Okay, you want to know how long I work with you. I work for an eight and a half. And like, that's the first time I felt so uncomfortable to speak to a victim of a fraud and cyber crime because you are putting me like in a spot where you are already accusing me of being a fraudster. Okay, the ability of, of like, me, my ability of doing my work, it's like making me so uncomfortable. You make me feel so small. That's absolutely horrible. I'm so sorry, I do not feel comfortable talking to you anymore. Yeah, I don't really feel comfortable talking to you either. I will, advise, I will advise you to contact again and speak to another agent because unfortunately, I cannot do this anymore to you. You, you have yeah, been I mean, offensive quite and I'm feeling complete, very, very threatened by you. Yeah, I mean, I would, if I was you, I mean, these people murdered my parents and they've been raping my sister for 20 years stole billions of pounds off me and tried to kill me hundreds of times. Like, I'd be, I'd feel threatened if I was you. Like, you're quite clearly full of shit. And, you know, the police, the NHS, the British you're financial so sector. Offensive. So offensive again. Yeah, and you're a fucking I cunt. Like, like, like you, you don't, you don't, you don't work for actual fraud. You're just a